It is now only the weekend before Thanksgiving. The Norfolk Southern Line was bustling about with traffic moving back and forth to get to their destination. Everyone was stressed by the heavy workload that needed to get done before the big holiday of Thanksgiving. But not only did this apply to freight locomotives, this also affected Amtrak engines as slowly. Amtrak trains were now carrying a lot more people who were vacationing for the holiday. And this was not only on the Norfolk Southern, it happened around the nation. Just about every railroad is working hard to get ready for things to get done. Basically, holiday rush. There was a lot of work to do. Sometimes it felt there weren't enough engines to do everything. One day at the shed. You know, I am so excited for this Thanksgiving season. Now then, Nicholas. What makes Thanksgiving so special? You've been a part of the NS for how long? And you still don't know what's so special about Thanksgiving? People always eat turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and much more food. You can have that food any other day. There's much more to Thanksgiving than that. I'm sure only smart engines would understand it, Jordum. Don't call me Jordan, you ugly catfish on wheels. Why, you little... Just then, Lily, Marie, and Top Hat lost patience. Nicholas and Jordan, will you two shut up? Me, Marie, and Top Hat are trying to rest. Jordan started it by criticizing my thoughts. No, you started it by running your mouth. We don't care who started it. You guys are on my last nerve of today. Arguing before Thanksgiving Day. How despicable, truly despicable. I have to agree with Top Hat. Oh, I have to go. I need to take a freight train to Philadelphia along with Josiah. Later that day, Nicholas was minding his own business shunning some box cars in the yard. But just then, Melvin, Kevin, a UPS community dash 2, and Kira Dream arrived at Helen Valley with a great train. Oh hey there Melvin, how can I be of assistance if you guys? We are here to drop this train off. Also, the first five reefers are full of Thanksgiving food. They will be one to add later today. Kevin is right. Can you leave them on the siding next to the station? Oh, certainly. I can do that. We greatly appreciate that. Great. Thanks, Nicholas. Well, we have to get going. We have another train that will take us home. And with that said, he departed Highland Valley. After Nicholas finished his switching assignments, he parked the refrigerator cars on the side, just like Melvin told him. Just then he saw Mr. Ed. Hello there, Nicholas. What you doing with those refrigerator cars? They are the ones filled with turkey and vegetables and all that other stuff. I was parking on them on the siding just like I was told to. Alright, cool. Just leave them right here. Don't mess with them until they're unloaded. <laughs> no need to worry about me, Mr. Edwards. I don't normally couple the freight cars unless it's part of my job. You can always trust me to leave them right here. It's a very easy task. Besides, you can definitely leave them there. No the problem. There's definitely nobody who's going to steal them or anything. Hey, look, Larry. 
reefers full of Thanksgiving dinner. We should steal them later. Great plan. And there will be no more Thanksgiving for Highland Valley. And the two set off. Nicholas, I have a job for you. I need you and Dakota to take a freight train to Toledo, Ohio. Right away, Mr. Edwards. Someone must have taken it. It was just here. Benjamin, Will, Ryuzi, Josiah, Lily, and Marie were just in the shed when they heard Nicholson and Dakota gasp. They teleported outside to check on them. Dakota, Nicholas, is there something wrong? Those refrigerator cars full of turkey. They're somehow gone. Oh no, we can't let that happen. We have to catch the turkey thieves. Oh no. We can't let Thanksgiving be ruined. Come on.
not over yet. Maybe this is where they went. Like seriously, Dave and Larry, what do you have against us having a good Thanksgiving dinner? That doesn't directly affect you, does it? We never enjoy Thanksgiving because we always get grounded. If we can't have Thanksgiving, then nobody can. The grounding is your fault, Dave. We will never let you have Thanksgiving dinner. Well, you know what? Fine then. We don't need a turkey just to have a good Thanksgiving. At least we're still together. And that's all that matters. Friendship is the better part of Thanksgiving. You could take away our plate, but you can't take away our togetherness. I agree, but we still need the turkey. Oh yeah, you're right. Dahlia and Gabby, heads over the turkey or we will take it by force. What Lily said. Why don't you stop complaining and be thankful for once? Yeah man, I'm sure you have something to be thankful for. Like that CSX hasn't gotten rid of you in spite of all your bad behavior. I would be thankful if railroads like NS and Amtrak went bankrupt. Hey Dave, wanna eat peanut butter sandwiches for Thanksgiving? No Andrew, now shut up, nobody likes you. I agree with you Dave. By the way Dahlia, still haven't given us that turk, leave us no choice. After coupling up to the cars, they immediately looked for a way to escape. Don't let them get away.
Dave, use your emergency brake. Uh, I'm beaten up bad. I'm so sorry Nikki and Dennis. Look what you did Dave and Larry. Now here comes Mr. Dunn. Dahlia and Fatty. How dare you spill turkey and crash into Nikki, Brown Baby and Dennis. That's it. You are grounded until Black Friday. And no pumpkin pie for dessert. Now excuse me, I'm going home to help my wife prepare dinner. Nah, ooh, 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 ooh. The others soon arrive safely back at Highland Valley. Those reefers full of Thanksgiving food. They went missing last night, but we went all the way out on a limb and tracked them down and we got them back, Mr. Edwards. Yep, it's true, but we successfully managed to save the Thanksgiving dinner. You're talking about the ones by the station? Oh yeah, um, I forgot to tell you, Nicholas, but sometime after you left for work, those reefers were already unloaded and their shipments went to the local grocery stores. So you're saying we... Went all the way out there, just for some empty boxcars? Pretty much. Anyways, we got no time for chit chat. Your friends are teleporting here in two hours at 4.30. And I'm going to go home and have Thanksgiving dinner with my family. Get ready, guys. Wait! Yes, sir, Mr. Edwards. Later that evening, everyone came. They were all paired up very nicely. And we're ready to be served dinner. It's really nice that we could all be together today. I'm glad we celebrate Thanksgiving. Me too. I'm so glad my girlfriend Bridget could join us tonight. I agree with Benjamin. Hey guys. Yesterday me and Michael did a Thanksgiving excursion all the way to Harrisburg. We had the best time ever. Wow, that's good for you Lilium and Michael. I love Thanksgiving. There are so many things to be thankful for. I'm thankful that we got the day off to enjoy Thanksgiving together, and that me, Lily, Marie, and Tiffany got to play soccer earlier today. I agree with you, Amber. Thanksgiving is more than having a lot of food to eat. It's about being together. You can say that again, Lily. There are a lot of things I do have to be thankful for, but I really don't know where to start. It's nice to be grateful now. Because next month it'll be Christmas and we'll be wanting stuff. And tomorrow's Black Friday. We're all going back to work tomorrow. You're right. I can't help but wonder what kind of job I will get tomorrow. That was a great meal. I'm full now. Well, hey, you know what, Will? So are we. I feel like I've ate everything I wanted to eat, but still not satisfied yet. What is it that we're forgetting about? Who wants dessert? 